Universe Mode, episode number 64, and it's a brand new Monday Night Raw. And tonight, opportunity is in the air, as next Monday night will be the Raw Homecoming event live from Madison Square Garden, a night where the WWE Championship will be defended. But later tonight, right here in Raleigh, North Carolina, a fatal four-way, one fall to a finish matchup between Austin Theory, AJ Styles, Matt Riddle, and Rob Van Dam. The winner of this fatal four-way matchup is going to Raw Homecoming next week to battle Randy Orton for the WWE Championship one-on-one. -on -one. And speaking of the WWE Champion, for the first time since winning the gold back on Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton, is in the house and is set for action live on Monday Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 250 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Viper, Randy Orton. It was at Survivor Series that Randy Orton wrote the final chapter in a long story with the rated R superstar Edge, the former WWE Champion. The two men met inside the most demonic structure known to mankind, Hell in a Cell. And after a brutal matchup, Randy Orton with not one but two RKOs in that contest, walking away at Boston, the brand new WWE Champion. Ever since turning over a new leaf over the summer, stabbing his old best friend Riddle in the back, Randy Orton has really taken back control of his career and has been unstoppable ever since. Remember back in Extreme Rules in August, he defeated Riddle. Back at Judgment Day of September is where he won the number one contendership for the WWE Championship by defeating Mustafa Ali. And then, of course, at Survivor Series, he capitalized on the opportunity and walked away with the gold. Randy Orton's going to have his hands filled tonight. We're going to have a little fun on Monday Night Raw. He was the final draft pick last week. And tonight he goes one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion. Our truth is in the house. And ladies and gentlemen, the next edition of Monday Night Raw coming your way December the 7th. It is Raw Homecoming, a pay-per-view-like event from Madison Square Garden in New York City, a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, December the 7th, Monday Night Raw. MSG, the world's famous arena, Raw is coming home. And as we mentioned, the WWE Championship will be on the line when Randy Orton, the man who we'll see in moments, defends the gold against the winner of tonight's main event. Fatal four-way between Matt Riddle, R-Truth, or not our truth, excuse me, Matt Riddle, Rob Van Dam, AJ Styles, and Austin Theory. What's up? What's up? What's up? Our truth having some fun here on Raw, but it's time to get focused. We're kicking off a brand new era here in the WWE after the draft last week and the return of Friday Night SmackDown. All roads tonight lead to homecoming next week. Our truth, Randy Orton, here to kick us off on an opportunity filled night on Monday Night Raw. Big opportunity for R-Truth here. Been quite some time since we see him in action. And who knows, maybe R-Truth picks up an upset over Randy Orton tonight and puts himself in line for a future WWE Championship opportunity. But no matter what happens here, Randy Orton will be inside that ring once again next week in a building he has stepped, in foot, stepped foot in many times throughout his career, the world's most famous arena, MSG, Madison Square Garden, New York City, on the same week that Friday Night SmackDown will bring to you the All-Star Kickoff, which will feature the World Heavyweight Championship four-man elimination matchup. Of course, more on that situation on Friday Night SmackDown in the next episode of Universe Mode. But Randy Orton right now beating the hell out of our truth since the opening bell. And Orton's just been a dangerous man these last couple of months, and we really saw Orton just tap into that sick, twisted side of him inside Hell in the Cell. And he sent Edge to the top of the cell. Wait a minute, our truth here. Roll up, oh no, not just yet. Almost stealing the win over the WWE Champion, but he's better stay on the offense here because the Apex Predator, at this point in his career, we shouldn't have to say it, but obviously not one to take lightly inside of the ring. And Truth down and out after that neck breaker, Orton dropping the knee. 
I'm sure Randy Orton would like to make quick work of our truth next week. Kick back, relax, watch the Fatal 4-Way tonight, and find out who he's going to be challenging for the WWE Championship next week on Raw. Going to pick up the win over our truth here. The truth's still in it. Our truth you know, he may play a lot of jokes inside of the ring, maybe a fun-loving guy, but he's a former NWA champion, former United States champion here in the WWE. Our truth knows how to get it done, but our oh, Randy Orton with the RKO. And there ain't no getting up from that. Randy Orton on his way to Raw Homecoming next week in the win column yet again. Our truth tried to fight, but Randy Orton striking out of nowhere as he always does. RKO and the WWE Champion on top yet again. But who is going to challenge Randy Orton in Madison Square Garden for the WWE Championship? We're going to find out later tonight. A fatal four-way matchup right here on Monday Night Raw. The action continues on here in Raleigh, North Carolina tonight with a little WWE Women's Division action one-on-one -on -one right now on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. Raquel Gonzalez came up to the main roster part of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. A woman familiar with holding goals, she is a former NXT Women's Champion. Now part of Monday Night Raw, of course, last week during the draft, the women's division officially assigned to Monday Night Raw. Every single woman in the WWE is going to be here on the red brand week after week. A division currently headed by, of course, the women's champion, Shotzi, who won the title back at Survivor Series. And we do know that Shotzi will be defending her championship for the very first time next week at Raw Homecoming as well as well as the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships held by Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. They are set to defend the gold against the number one contenders that were crowned on the WWE Draft episode of Raw last week, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. We got this one-on-one -on -one matchup here tonight. Raquel Gonzalez set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Nightmare, Rhea Ripley. This is going to be a good one. We're going to talk about former champions. You're looking at another one right here. Former WWE Women's Champion as well as a former NXT Women's Champion. So two former members of the black and gold brand officially here on Monday Night Raw yet again set to lock horns and possibly look to become the next contender for Shotzi in the WWE Women's Championship. Of course, it was back at Survivor Series as we mentioned that Shotzi walked away with the Women's Championship, her technical second reign in her WWE career, but the first time she's actually held the gold in her hands. Remember all the way back at SummerSlam, which really started the whole story of Asuka and Shotzi, where Asuka cashed in on Shotzi moments after she defeated Bianca Blair for the Women's Championship. Shotzi never even got a chance to hold the gold in her hands, but she finally righted that wrong last Thursday, Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series. And what a win it was, what a match it was, Shotzi Picking up the victory, walking away a Boston, the new WWE Women's Champion. Well, let's focus on the action inside the ring right now. Monday Night Raw rolls on. Rhea Ripley, Raquel Gonzalez. Two behemoths in there. Two of the biggest and strongest ladies in the women's division here at WWE. Set to lock horns on Monday Night Raw. You got to watch out for both of these women. Raquel Gonzalez, nice using the strength there to Rhea Ripley, but as we mentioned, that's something that is kind of evenly matched here, the strength and size of these two competitors. Both of them are used to really facing smaller competitors inside of the ring. Used to manhandling opponents, but Raquel gonna manhandle Rhea Ripley a little bit. Showcasing the strength right there, swinging her around and throwing her halfway across the ring. This is Raquel's first one-on-one -on -one matchup, a part of the main roster. Looking to make an impact here tonight in Raleigh, North Carolina. As we mentioned, already signed for Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden December the 7th next week. The WWE Women's Tag Team Championship is going to be on the line. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, who won the tournament, won the gold at Survivor Series, will be defending against the new number one contenders, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. It's coming your way December 7th in Madison Square Garden. 
And one of these women would quite possibly maybe next in line to fight Shotzi on that night as well. We'll see who outlasts the other here. Right now, Raquel is in the driver's seat. Maria gets the shoulder up, but this match has really been all Raquel Gonzalez since the opening bell. They're going to make a name for herself here on Monday Night Raw, part of the main roster. A beat down on Rhea Ripley there. Simple but effective maneuver. Again, former NXT Women's Champion had a dominant run with that gold on the black and gold brand. So let's see what she can do here on the main roster. She's just been manhandling Rhea Ripley, which is not something you really see too often. I mean, these two women, maybe throw Bianca Belair in there. I mean, you might be looking at quite possibly, not even arguably, the three strongest women in the WWE today. And Rhea Ripley trying to fight back. That was a big time maneuver there. Raquel is down after taking some major offense from the Nightmare. And now Rhea Ripley trying to get back in the driver's seat of this contest. We're gonna showcase her strength and her brutality. Beating down on Raquel, down on the canvas. Rhea Ripley challenged for the Women's Championship over the summer. Back when Bianca Belair was atop the division, there's not one but two chances Rhea had to become the champion, including a matchup right here on Raw. And there was a no-holds-barred matchup in the main event that night for the Women's Championship. Rhea Ripley was out of action for quite some time after that loss, after that epic main event from a few months back. Rhea's been fighting ever since to try to get back in the women's division, get back in the winning ways. Rhea just beating down Raquel. Look at that. Look at the shots. Nothing, nothing pretty about that. Ground and pound from the Nightmare. But Gonzalez trying to get back in there. Gonzalez is the taller of the two competitors. Not sure who's the stronger one between the two. Right now, they're really both showcasing their strength and size in both ways throughout this matchup as Raquel shoots off Rhea Ripley into the corner. I'm sure Shotzi, as well as the rest of the women's division, has got their eyes on this matchup, and Rhea Ripley takes a spill from the top rope, down to the floor, and have Raquel coming off the apron. Big time, Senton. Again, as we've been mentioned throughout this matchup, looking to make an impact in our first matchup here on the main roster. Rhea trying to make sure Raquel ain't gonna make the name off her behalf here tonight. Raquel tries to grab a hold. Rhea Ripley smart to get back into the ring. Lying in wait for Gonzalez, grabbing a hold. It's smart by the Nightmare there. And does that power slam again. Sits out with it in the power bomb position. Rhea Ripley is usually, or I should say, is throughout this matchup really going to what works a couple of times there. Misses for the leg drop. Keeping it simple but effective does Rhea Ripley, but Raquel still has got fight in her. And once again, even in the late rounds of this matchup, Able to send Rhea Ripley halfway across the ring. Sends her over the top rope again. Rhea's dazed Rhea with a forearm. Could be a knockout blow on any day of the week. Rhea better keep her eyes in this matchup though, but again, counters out Raquel. Back in the ring she goes, Gonzalez shoots her off. Comes at her with the splash. Raquel Gonzalez in the driver's seat. Rhea Ripley may be in trouble here. Wait a minute. Could be looking for that signature. Oh, come, thought that she was going for a powerbomb there, but instead is going for a gory special of Rhea Ripley. And the Nightmare may be on the verge of tapping out here. Gonzalez has got her wrenched in. Not quite the center of the ring, but Rhea Ripley struggling after all the offense to break the gory special. But if anybody can do it, it's the Nightmare, and she does. Look at the strength that is being showcased throughout this matchup between these two women. And Ripley, just with the intestinal fortitude, be able to send Raquel over the top rope. I gotta take the moment here to breathe, possibly win this matchup via count out. Two. The battle we are witnessing in the women's division here tonight on Raw, and again, still to come in tonight's main event. Fatal four-way matchup, one fall to a finish. The winner's gonna move on to fight Randy Orton for the WWE Championship on December the 7th at Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden tonight. Austin Theory, Matt Riddle, Rob Van Dam, and AJ Styles. One man is gonna get that golden opportunity at the WWE Championship. Back to the action inside of the ring. Rhea Ripley taking control from bell to bell here. Raquel may be in trouble. That gory special took a lot out of her. And Rhea Ripley has been in the driver's seat ever since. There's a nice counter there. Never counter out. Nice STO takes her down. And Raquel's got her eyes locked in the nightmare. And it could be all she wrote in a moment. 
Wait a minute, look at this. Big time power slam. Into the pinfall. Not enough just yet as the Nightmare gets the shoulder off the canvas. Raquel Gonzalez has been impressive in her first one-on-one -on -one matchup here on Monday Night Raw, but not enough to keep a former WWE Women's Champion down. Let's see what she's got. This is where you get tested. Threw her best shots at Rhea Ripley so far. It wasn't enough. Now she goes a little unorthodox. Second rope splash. Not something we see out of Gonzalez too often if you know her history in NXT. Elbow drop. Close call there. Close call. Rhea Ripley, what is that? 2.8, 2.9, able to get the shoulder off the canvas. And the matchup rolls on. Two tough son of a bitches in there right now. Rhea Ripley dazed after those elbows. Nothing pretty out of Raquel. She's coming out with pure brutality over somebody who knows that very well, but she crashes and burns. Went to the top row, went to the splash. Again, something very unorthodox for Raquel Gonzalez. Crashed and burned, ate the canvas. And Rhea Ripley has found herself back in control of this women's division matchup. Got her up in the air. The strength of the nightmare on display right now. Possibly no other woman besides these two. Ed Bianca Belair, as we mentioned, the strongest three in the WWE. Raquel is out. Wait a minute, Rhea's tying her up here. Got that sub signature submission hold locked in. After the crash and burn in the offense, Rhea's got... Raquel all tied up, nowhere to go. And Raquel Gonzalez taps out. Rhea Ripley picking up the victory here tonight on Raw. And Raquel was in control for, I'd say, the majority of that matchup, but in the end, the Nightmare, a little bit more experience in these big time matches, able to outlast Gonzalez, taps her out, and Rhea Ripley picks up the big time win here tonight. And I'm getting breaking news right now that with that win, Rhea Ripley will be the one challenging Shotzi one-on-one -on, -one on December the 7th, Raw Homecoming from Madison Square Garden. It's the Nightmare versus the Black Car for the WWE Women's Championship. Shotzi's first defense in Survivor Series. Ripley back in the hunt. Who's gonna leave MSG with the gold? Some more action tonight on Monday Night Raw from Raleigh, North Carolina. The New Days, Kofi Kingston, along with Xavier Woods in his corner, set the battle with the modern-day Maharaja Jinder Mahal, plus one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Damian Priest, alongside Dijakovic, one-on-one -on -one with Jordan Devlin. And it's Kofi Kingston of the New Day picking up the victory over Jinder Mahal tonight, and Damian Priest with Dominic Dijakovic in his corner. Continuing their momentum, picks up the singles win over the ace, Jordan Devlin. We are back inside the arena here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and Cedric Alexander, former member of the Hurt Business who was drafted all lonesome here on Monday Night Raw, set for one-on-one -on -one action against the undefeated, intimidating, dominating, former NXT champion who made his return to the WWE just over a month ago, alongside the cold and calculated Scarlet. Drafted to Raw last week. Karrion Cross is in the house. And Cedric Alexander has got one test ahead of him. Undefeated since his return to the WWE. Win over John Morrison. Win over Isaiah Swerve Scott. Battle number three. For what I would hope is a motivated Cedric Alexander tonight. When the Hurt Business was split up in the draft last week, Bobby Lashley, MVP, Shelton Benjamin on their way to SmackDown. Cedric Alexander along with Omos here on Raw. What the future of the faction remains to be seen. But tonight, Cedric Alexander is all by himself. And he's got a long task ahead of him. This intimidating presence. Scarlet carrying Cross. A powerful duo if I ever saw one. Look into the eyes of that man. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with here on Monday Night Raw. Carrying Cross, Cedric Alexander, one on one here to continue us on. What's been a great night of action so far tonight on Raw? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Cross. 
going to watch this back as Cedric Alexander ain't waiting no time. Alexander's looking to make an impact. Referee's in the ring. Ring the bell. Could Cedric Alexander be stealing the win from Cross here? And Cross gets the shoulder up. He's still got his damn jacket on. Cedric Alexander on his own tonight. Looking to make an impact. Looking to make a name for himself all over again. One on one versus the undefeated Karrion Cross. Didn't wait for the bell. Cedric's have to prove his worth. Take it down, Karrion Cross there. Cedric's bringing the fight to the undefeated Cross. He knows what he's up against tonight. Obviously, the underdog. When you look at somebody with Karrion Cross, not just his undefeated wins since returning to the WWE, but a former two time NXT champion. And Karrion Cross just centered Cedric Alexander over the top rope. Cedric Alexander may have blew his shot there. I don't know. He might have just pissed off Karrion Cross even more. Will Cedric be able to fight back or is he going to meet his ultimate doomsday here tonight in Raleigh? No, oh, no, Cross hanging Cedric up in the top rope. Didn't even bother with taking his jacket off. He's just pissed off and wants to fight Cedric. Saito suplex that Cross has utilized so dangerously into the cover. Cedric Alexander reaches out, grabs the ropes, and if he wasn't in that position, this match damn well may be over. Saved by the ropes there was Alexander. I may just infuriated carrying Cross even more. Look at this, unloading, stomping on the hand. Does it again, three times there. Karrion Cross is one dangerous son of a gun. He's a part of the Raw roster as of the draft last week. Everybody better take notice of this man. Sending Cedric for a ride. Just the beatdown continues to commence in this matchup. I don't know, man. Cedric might have blew his shot in the early going. Cross jacket. And it may be academic at this point. Cedric Alexander taps out. He had a smart strategy, if you want to call it that. Tried to take Karrion Cross off his game. Jumped him from behind. Tried to get the quick victory over the undefeated dominant monster. But Karrion Cross comes back. And there it is right there. That straight jacket tying up his Here opponent. Winner, taps Karrion him out for the win. Cross. Who the hell is going to stop this man? 3-0 since returning to the main roster, returning to the WWE, and now a part of Monday Night Raw. I don't know who is going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and try to meet their ultimate doomsday with this man staring across the ring. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you back to last week on Monday Night Raw as moments after Riddle had defeated Omos in the No Holds Barred match, cameras cut rapidly to the back to see two men who were drafted to Monday Night Raw, Edge and Kevin Owens, who returned from injury in the arena, assaulted the Rated R Superstar backstage. Edge was only in the building, still nursing injuries from Survivor Series and Hell in a Cell, only in the building for the WWE Draft to see where his fate lied, and Kevin Owens took advantage of it. Kevin Owens, after being on the shelf since WrestleMania this year, was looking to make an impact and looking to make a strong one. Sent Edge off that ledge right there, through, through the table, and then followed it up with this stunner. And God knows the next time we're gonna see the Rated R Superstar after this assault. But we do know the first time we're gonna see Kevin Owens back inside the squared circle is coming to you next week at Raw Homecoming as he's going one-on-one -on -one with another man set to make his in-ring return, The New Day's Big E versus Kevin Owens next week. And also signed for Raw Homecoming, the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships are going to be on the line. The defending champions, Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell, of the way, take on the new number one contenders, Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. The WWE World Tag Team Championships up for grabs as Damian Priest and Dominic Dijakovic go up against the team that defeated the Street Profits last week on Monday Night Raw. Eric and Ivar, the Viking Raiders 2v2 for the World Tag Team Gold. As we found out earlier tonight, Rhea Ripley has earned herself a championship opportunity. She will be the first challenger for the new Women's Champion Shotzi, her first defense versus the Nightmare in Madison Square Garden. And look at this matchup that has been signed. The Intercontinental Championship triple threat matchup. A whole lot of writing on this story. Tommaso Ciampa defends the gold against the Bruiserweight Pete Dunne and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus triple threat matchup for the Intercontinental Championship.
It all comes your way December the 7th. It is Raw Homecoming, a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel a 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Madison Square Garden. But it is time for your main event. It is time to decide who fights Randy Orton in the world's most famous arena for the WWE Championship. The following contest is a fatal four-way match. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan, weighing in at 235 pounds. Rob Van Dam. Rob Van Dam. Held the WWE Championship once before in 2006 and would love to get back to the main event in a city that he's got a lot of history in because of ECW back in the 90s. Imagine Rob Van Dam taking New York City by storm, the same city where he won the WWE Championship all those years ago. RVD's got history with the Apex Predator Randy Orton as well. Orton defeated RVD back in 2003 for his very first Intercontinental Championship. Orton once putted RVD in the head, which sent RVD away to the WWE, or sent RVD away from the WWE, we should say, for many years. I'm sure RVD would love the opportunity to get in the ring with the Apex Predator. Or will it be this man? Looking to fight back after losing to John Cena at Survivor Series and last man standing, the former WWE Champion. As he would like to say, the now, all day, Austin Theory. And his opponents, first, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. It was back on August the 7th of this year at Extreme Rules that Austin Theory shocked the world, outlasted four other challengers in a five-man elimination matchup to become the WWE Champion for the first time in his career. Unfortunately for Theory, his championship reign only lasted a month and three days as he lost the championship on September the 10th to the Rated R Superstar Edge back at Judgment Day. Of course, as we mentioned, Austin Theory Settled the score with John Cena on Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series and last man standing. And unfortunately for all day Austin Theory, he came up with the loss on that night. But will the, man, will the young man be able to bounce back in the fatal four-way? Time will only tell. But here comes another man who in recent history has held the WWE Championship. The phenomenal AJ Styles wants the big moment wants to be under the bright lights of Madison Square Garden and wants another shot to be the face of the franchise. And from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles is riding a high after the Survivor Series pay-per-view, finally putting Bobby Lashley in the hurt business in his rear view mirror. The same man who he defeated for the WWE Championship back on April the 11th of this year at Backlash. AJ went on to hold the gold for just over two months to lose it to Edge at SummerSlam. And since then, as we mentioned, was fighting a battle with the Hurt Business and Bobby Lashley. Finally settled the score at Survivor Series. Lashley is off to SmackDown and AJ Styles is here on Raw. And AJ can now refocus on the WWE Championship. The title that he lost back at SummerSlam, the championship that he was unable to regain back at Extreme Rules. New clear sight vision for the phenomenal one. Is he walking away the number one contender? And you want to talk about somebody who would love to get in the ring with Randy Orton? Look no further than the former tag team partner of Orton. One half of the former RK Bro unit. The original bro, Matt Riddle. Set for action here tonight on Raw. And from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. We have speculated that Riddle hasn't been the same man since Randy Orton turned his back on him over the summer. And we had, and excuse me, Riddle hasn't been the same man since he lost to Randy Orton back at Extreme Rules in August. Riddle tried to prove some of the naysayers wrong last week on Raw when he defeated Omos, the Nigerian giant, in that no-holds-barred matchup. With an opportunity to get Randy Orton in the ring once again for the WWE Championship, 
You gotta imagine there's no man more focused, no man more motivated than the original Bro Riddle himself. But it's a golden opportunity, one fall to a finish, fatal four-way affair here tonight in Raleigh. Who is headed to New York City? We're gonna find out right now. And the chaos of a fatal four-way matchup. And again, one fall to a finish, one submission to a finish, no count outs, no disqualifications. It's gonna be the last man standing in this one who's walking straight to New York to challenge for the WWE Championship. You see how these matchups really break off into one-on-one -on -one matches at times. RVD and AJ Styles, Riddle and Austin Theory going at it. Austin Theory actually owns a win over Matt Riddle several months ago. Gotta wonder who the favorite is in this match. I mean, Riddle got that win last week on Raw. AJ Styles got that win at Survivor Series. RVD, last time we saw him in action, unfortunately, it was a few weeks ago on Raw, where him and now member of SmackDown, Jeff Hardy, lost an opportunity to become the tag team champions against Damian Priest and Dominic Dajakovic. So if you're looking at the win-loss column here in recent history, AJ Styles and Riddle, the two men that got to be riding a high here tonight on Raw. RVD, look at that takedown. RVD and Riddle going at it. What an interesting exchange. These guys going to take it high in the sky. Look at that maneuver. And again, Riddle. Remember the whole situation with Randy Orton back in the summer and leading into Extreme Rules. Randy Orton only promised that he would give Riddle one match, one night, for Riddle to get his retribution in. He failed. Randy Orton won the matchup on that night, defeated Riddle. Unfortunately, beat the hell out of the original bro. And Riddle, bringing in the stipulations... Not able to come back and fight Randy Orton again. With a new leash on this opportunity, Randy Orton holding the WWE Championship. Riddle possibly becoming the number one contender. Could be the route Riddle needs to challenge Randy Orton once again inside the squared circle. That's why we said earlier, we'll say it again, there may be no man more focused and more motivated than the original bro tonight. It's not just about getting the WWE Championship for the first time in his career. It's about getting another crack at his former best friend and tag team partner, Randy Orton. You got three highly incredible athletes in there that you gotta go through first. AJ Styles, Rob Van Dam. Those two men got history with each other over a decade ago in TNA wrestling. They know each other very well. Not the first time they've been inside the squared circle with each other here. Look at this RVD. Picking up AJ Styles, little Alabama slam to the phenomenal one. And Austin Theory catching RVD while his back was turned. And RVD with a nice counter there takes Theory down. And for Austin Theory, he has also been in the ring and defeated Randy Orton in recent history. It was actually the night that Riddle returned from injury and attacked Randy Orton and proved to the world that Randy Orton was the one that put him on the shelf. Austin Theory picked up a win over Randy Orton on that night, so who's to say if Theory goes on to MSG, that Theory won't be walking out the WWE Champion. And all four of these guys got a good chance at that. Randy Orton's been dominant for a number of months. We just saw him early, in action earlier tonight with yet another victory, but can't count any of these four men out. All four legitimate challengers for the WWE Championship. AJ Styles and Austin Theory going at it. RVD and Riddle going at it. And RVD crashing and burning as Riddle gets out of the way. What a card we have lined up for you. December the 7th. A pay-per-view-like event here on Monday Night Raw will be a live premiere. 5 p.m. Eastern time. All the championships going to be on the line. Kevin Owens and Big E, both men back in action. Going to be going one-on-one. -on -one. WWE Tag Team Championships, Damian Priest and Dominic Dajakovic versus Eric and Ivar. What a match that is going to be. With the Intercontinental Championship being decided in a triple threat matchup. Tommaso Ciampa puts the title on the line against the former champion Pete Dunne, the man who laid him out in the ring last week here on Raw. And the Celtic Warrior Sheamus, who has been intertwined with the Bruiserweight, owns a victory over Pete Dunne. And a steel cage match just a few weeks before Survivor Series. So, can't say you don't have two deserving challengers in there. Wait a minute, RVD going to pick up the victory over Styles here. But Styles gets the shoulder up. It's one fall to a finish here. So, if RVD got that, he would have been on his way to MSG. And Riddle takes him over. It a pitfall. And AJ Styles breaks it up. This is what is so difficult about these fatal 4 matches. If it was elimination, you wouldn't be worried about 
somebody coming in to break up your pinfall or submission, but it's one fall to a finish. You gotta clear the way of the rest of the competitors and find your open opportunity to get the three second count. When somebody rolls out to the ring, just like AJ Styles did just there, kind of becomes a triple threat match and at times can become a one-on-one -on -one match and that's really where you gotta take advantage. Theory, RVD, lights out. But Riddle's right there, and Riddle gonna make sure that Theory can't get the pinfall, but that was a close call. If Riddle was out of the ring, as well as AJ Styles, Theory might have just punched his ticket to fight Randy Orton next week. Riddle throws RVD over the top rope, leaving Theory and Riddle in the ring momentarily. Theory dropping the knee. RVD and AJ going out on the outside again. It's where things start to break down, a little singles matches here and there. Nice shot by RVD, and he takes out AJ Styles on the outside. Meanwhile, Riddle and Austin Theory still going out inside the ring. Riddle got them all kinds of tied up, and on the canvas he goes. Chaos, a fatal four-way. What about the other matches signed for Raw Homecoming? The Women's Championship going to be on the line. Shotzi defends the gold for the first time since winning that Survivor Series against the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. Plus, the Women's Tag Team titles going to be on the line. Ken Saray and Indy Hartwell versus Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. RVD is ruling the ring right now. Rolling thunder on AJ Styles. Theory's down, Riddle's down. RVD into the cover. Almost had him there, but Styles gets the shoulder up. Now RVD's heading to the top. I think we know what's coming here. Van Dam, five-star frog splash on AJ Styles. Into the cover he goes. Oh, but AJ again gets the shoulder up. And that may have been RVD's best shot to win this matchup. Riddle just getting back in the ring now, but the squared circle was clear to chaos for a moment. And we're back into a fatal four-way. Well, now a triple threat as AJ Styles rolls out to the outside, but RVD rolling thunder, five-star frog splash, not enough to keep the phenomenal one down. You see RVD's strategy, really trying to clear the ring every time multiple men get in there. Wait a minute, Riddle, springboard, kick to Austin Theory. RVD's down, Styles is down. Riddle had an opportunity to go for the cover there, but gonna go for a little bit more offense. Wait a minute. Theory's dazed on spaghetti legs. Riddle's picking him up. Could be looking to end this thing here while the ring is still cleared. Pitfall situation, but AJ Styles in there to break things up. Close call for every other man in this matchup who isn't named Riddle. Oh no, Riddle. Going behind on Theory. This is how he defeated Omos last week's submission hold here, but you gotta watch the other competitors in the ring. Styles and RVD getting back in there, trying to make sure this match does not end on their account. Riddle down, RVD, wait a minute, trying to steal the pinfall here over AJ Styles. Styles gets the shoulder up. You see the pinfalls really starting to get more frequent here. As we get into deep waters in this Fatal 4A matchup. Meanwhile, Styles, Styles, Styles clash on Riddle. But RVD's right there, not gonna allow the pinfall. You gotta get the other competitors out of your sight and out of mind to get the win in this, in this type of matchup. Van Dam with the Bulldog on Styles, and here comes the former WWE Champion all day, Austin Theory. Just imagine if Theory wins this, and Theory goes on to fight Randy Orton last week. Again, he's won a matchup versus Orton before. Who's to say he couldn't do it again? Theory with the blockbuster on RVD. And he sends Riddle over the top rope. Austin Theory looking to clear the way. But RVD gets the shoulder up. Theory almost had a clear path to Madison Square Garden right there. Now Van Dam trying to fight back. Van Dam's been very... Very busy in this matchup. Trying to clear the ring, trying to get some big time offense. AJ Styles back in there with a back breaker on Theory. RVD coming from behind. Styles trying to make sure he's out of the way. What a super kick by Van Dam. And it's almost too much action to call here. RVD, Austin Theory, AJ Styles throwing everything at each other while Riddles is trying to get his wits about him on the outside of the ring. AJ in the corner, not watching all day Austin Theory. There he is right there, grabbing a hold of the phenomenal one and sends him down to the canvas with a simple yet effective takedown. So Randy Orton's got his eyes locked on this matchup, scouting for potential opponents. You gotta wonder in Randy Orton mind, 
who he would rather face. I'm sure Riddle's got to be at the bottom of that list. Randy Orton wants nothing to do with Riddle. You remember all the way back in July and August in the lead up to Extreme Rules, Randy Orton wanted Riddle out of sight, out of mind for good in his career. So I'm sure Riddle is bottom of the barrel list. The people Randy Orton wants to defend the WWE Championship against, but very, may not, very well may not have a choice. Matt Riddle picks up the win in this fatal four-way matchup. RVD trying to fight back, trying to make sure he's heading back to New York City. The city he won the WWE Championship in before in his career, trying to do it again next week on Raw. RVD takes down Riddle. Impressive offense from the whole damn show. Trying to go after Styles there, but Styles cutting him off. Oh no, Brainbuster instead goes for the neck breaker. RVD keeps up, now Riddle that goes behind on Riddle. Sends him over the top rope. We're down to RVD and Styles in the ring, but now here comes Austin Theory. Chaos in the fatal four way. Only one man can fight Randy Orton. Who's going to be the last man standing and the number one contender for the WWE Championship? As all four men are back inside the squared circle here on Monday Night Raw. This is one hell of a main event. And RVD, or excuse me, Riddle with that senton on AJ Styles. Taking out the phenomenal one from the equation. RVD gets rid of Theory. Van Dam has got rid of a precarious situation here. Drop kick in the corner. Van Dam might have found the window of opportunity. Wait a minute, here comes Austin Theory. You gotta watch your back in the fatal four ways. And RVD, look at this. Pinfall on Austin Theory. Could that be enough to keep him down? But Riddle breaks it up. Almost stole the victory and almost on his way to fighting Randy Orton next week on Raw. Now RVD grabbing Riddle. Looks like he could have been going for a German suplex, but Riddle got out of it there. Oh, and what a super kick again by the whole damn show. Takes Riddle out of the equation. And RVD going for another sneaky pinfall there, but AJ Styles there to break it up. Man, the action, hard to keep up with in this fatal four-way. Imagine the chaos we're going to see in the Triple Threat next week for the Intercontinental Championship. Tommaso Ciampa, Sheamus, Pete Dunne. And the six matches we are going to see on that live premiere pay-per-view-like edition of Monday Night Raw. It'll be at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. December the 7th, Raw Homecoming. Theory into the cover on AJ Styles. A riddle's there to break it up. Spoiling the opportunity for Austin Theory. What a forearm by the original bro. Riddle riding a high off that matchup against Omos last week. No holds barred versus the Nigerian Nightmare. The bro walked out with the victory. Could he be looking to do it again here? But RVD, AJ Styles still in this contest. But so is Riddle. Over these days, meanwhile, AJ Styles is out there trying to go for the phenomenal forearm. I think Theory might have sidestepped it, though, and that might have cost AJ Styles. Oh, and a forearm to the back and make it two. A lot of punishment in this contest. Meanwhile, Riddle unloading on RVD in the corner with those kicks. And now, send an RVD. For an amusement park ride down to the canvas. Into the cover goes Riddle. Will that be enough? But AJ Styles breaks up the pinfall. It's hard to clear the ring for just a few moments to get that three-second count. And Riddle running powerbomb to Styles. Got to watch RVD there. Riddle trying to take care of the RVD problem in his way right now. But Styles still has fight left in him. And what a knee by the original bro. Takes down RVD again. RVD kips up. Runs at Riddle. Drop kick misses. Riddle behind. Headbutt to Van Dam. Styles getting up. Theory starting to get his wits on the outside. Back inside the squared circle. Come all four men. One opportunity. Who's going to be the last man standing here as Riddle's beating the hell out of RVD? Any means necessary to punch your ticket for the WWE Championship next week. Riddle's up top. Styles, I in theory. Phenomenal forearm. Meanwhile, Riddle just hit a Broton. Cover here just for Riddle. RVD kicks out. Cover by Styles. Oh, Austin Theory kicks out. Man, that was a close call by both men there. 
I don't even think Styles realized he w the referee was counting for Riddle at first. Riddle could have won the match without Styles even being in the equation. Meanwhile, Styles and Riddle are out. RVD heading up top. Theory's day is RVD. Mood salt, but he crashed and burned. All four men back in here now. RVD trying to take care of Theory. Now trying to take care of AJ Styles. Styles counters. Theory. Chaos as all four men are swinging for the fences here. Oh, and Riddle takes down Theory. What a maneuver there. And Styles going on the knee of RVD. You take out the legs, you take out the high flying ability of the Hall of Famer. Now Theory and RVD are down. Sleeves AJ Styles and Matt Riddle inside of the squared circle. Could we be let, getting close to our finishing moments here? Riddle's down. The rest of the field has been laid away. Styles! Missed for the phenomenal form as Riddle sidestepped him. Oh man, that could have been the exclamation point Styles needed. Meanwhile, Riddle, oh no. Down goes Styles. The ring is cleared. Riddle into the cover. Wait, here comes Van Dam. At the last second, he breaks it up. This is one hell of a fatal four-way matchup in the main event. RVD takes out takes out Riddle, excuse me, takes out AJ Styles as well. Austin Theory trying to get in some. Snake guys to RVD. Theory goes behind on Styles, but he didn't watch RVD there because Van Dam's still up. Bulldog to Theory. Oh no, Riddle's down. Styles is down. RVD's heading to the top. Theory's up. Theory catches Van Dam. RVD's in deep trouble. Deep six of end of days like maneuver. Unorthodox for Theory. Caught him and took advantage. And that's all she wrote. Theory stole the fatal four-way matchup. Riddle was out of the equation. Styles was out of the equation. RVD went high and it backfired. And Austin Theory laid him out the first second he could. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. He may have been possibly the least favorite to win this matchup. But all day, Austin Theory has punched his ticket to Madison Square Garden in New York City next week on Raw Homecoming as he's going one-on-one -on -one with the Apex Predator, the Viper of the WWE, and the reigning defending champion, Randy Orton. It is Raw Homecoming December the 7th, a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. 5 p.m. Eastern time from Madison Square Garden, New York City. We will see you there. Thank you, and good night, everybody. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, don't need no cap, I'm a ride.